I'm here in the kitchen now and I've prepped the lamb shoulder, so slow roast lamb shoulder, served with the beetroot chutney. What we'll do is create the marinade now. We put some fresh thyme, some rosemary, garlic, some cumin seed, coriander. To give it a nice Indian flavor. Mm? <laughs> exactly. Um, in Australia, we kind of, um, you know, we're quite a young. Um, countries in terms of a cuisine. So for me, I've had so much experience with the Indian foods that I wanted to kind of take little influences of that and and in, inspire that into my my cooking. So we put rock salt, yes, sea salt, and exactly. some extra virgin olive oil, right? Yep. And then we massage the meat, no? So what we're also doing with this is we've got a little mirepoix. Uh, to add the flavor, carrot, celery, and onion. We just put a little bit of red wine to give some yeah. color. Smells good. Madeira wine. That's the stock going in now. So just a little layer at the bottom. It doesn't need to cover it completely. So this one we're going to pop into the oven, uh, pizza oven. It's at about 120 degrees. And we're going to have that one cook for about eight hours. We're going to serve this slow roasted lamb uh, with the Madeira jus reduced down and um, to pour all over really nice and um, keep it moist. And we're going to serve that with the beetroot chutney. The first Indian dish I ever had was when I met my partner Devinda. So it was one of our first dates and he um, made a big feast for, for me. It was gheema. So we had gheema, fresh roti, um, mango pickle, reta, and still to this day, it's you know one of my favorite dishes. And um, yeah, it's like one of those special occasion dishes that he makes for me. Thank you. Yes, what is this? Oh, okay. Is this? Aloe. Um, there's fenugreek, I think, looks like. Mm, it's pumpkin. It's not aloe. <laughs> so, pumpkin, spinach, definitely chili. Yes. This is bringing back some really bad emotions for me, do you realize? <laughs> Garlic. Garlic's there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, red onion and mustard seeds. Yes. Um, fennel seeds. Fennel seeds, yes. Um, no coriander. So, Bengali? Yes. Mm. Bengali. This is my first yes. Bengali dish ever. Oh, really? Yeah, ever. It's very nice. Phew, I made it. <laughs> Didn't embarrass myself too much. <laughs> I, I absolutely always dream about the restaurant that I'd love to have in the future. And um, for me, it's all, you know, I think about that beautiful Bombay style cafe where, you know, it's really achievable for anyone to go to where you can have, you know, creative people, writers, um, you know, really young people as well, families, just a really beautiful communal um, sort of tapas style eating. Um, but yeah, just a really cool place to hang out where, you know, it's a beautiful interior, fun, fresh, um, and yeah, just beautiful food that we can all share together and, and have that, um, have that Indian style of community where everyone comes together for food and enjoys it together and um, is really hospitable. Thank you. Wow, it looks amazing. What a feast. <laughs> Here we have tandoori roti. Yeah, roti. Tandoori is made with a whole wheat. Okay. Here is a luchi, it's a Bengali puri. Luchi. Luchi is yep. deep fried. This is Komri Charasa, it's a Maharashtrian chicken curry. Okay. Komri is chicken in Maharashtra. This is LP prawn curry. LP is a place prawn. in Kerala. Here is a mutton curry. Nice. Bone. This is the paneer and mutton. What is it? Vegetable stew. Really? Cooked in, in a coconut milk. milk. Nice. And this is cholar dal. It's a black gram mm. dal. Yeah. And then we have green peas and saffron pilaf. Alright, I'll try some. Oh, it's soft. Yes, very soft. Ah. Mm. Oh my God. 
the chicken is just so soft. And it's got, yeah, you can taste it's quite spicy, but it's, yes. and you cook it slowly, slowly for a long time. Yes, for a long time. Because the chicken's just kind of melting away. Yes, melting away. In there. Yes. Mm. And do you cook it with the bones? No. No. Mm. So, mutton curry? Yes, mutton curry. So, what part of the bone is that? Is this that is, uh, the lamb, lamb leg. Leg, okay. Yeah, leg. Same, basically. One of my partner's family members cooks a lamb curry and they always fight over the bone marrow at the end. Mm. So you're getting that, that taste, kind of taste. That's a familiar yeah. flavor. Onion based gravy. Onion based, and yeah. The whole gram masala is used into it. Yeah. In tempering. And then we have some cumin powder, coriander powder, yeah. garam masala powder. So you yeah. have all these spices mm. flavor into it. That's a good one. Just can't believe how there's so much variety in, in all of the dishes and, and all of them individually amazing. So it was a, a very good feast for me, thank you. I never go on an extreme diet. I always like to um, just you know eat really wholesome ingredients. You know, use fresh produce, um, use lots of fruit and vegetables and just prepare it simply, you know. Um, and you know, if you want to have a chocolate, just have a chocolate because I think if you restrict yourself, you're always going to go and rebel and, and you know, just go crazy and, and lose any sort of momentum. Once we've taken the lamb out of the oven, um, we've left, left that aside to rest and we've strained out all of the ingredients that we put in the stock and um, reduced that down to really beautiful jus. So here we have thinly sliced bread crisped up in the oven. I'm gonna serve the lamb on top. So that gives a beautiful crunch at the bottom and is a really good carrier to keep all those lamb flavors in. And beetroot chutney on top. So here we have it. It's a, a beautiful slow roasted lamb shoulder. We roasted it for eight hours um, and served that with a beautiful jus, uh, beetroot chutney on top and on a crispy crouton served with the Bellamy Scotch Sour.